Hello ladies and and sexually confused midges, we return to the daily challenge, it is Friday 19th, 2016th. It is so great to be back at the daily challenge, like I always feel so excited starting it out, it's so weird to me because I usually, I am not a person that plays that game for very long periods of time normally, let's well, look at that to me, it's really weird because I would just normally just switch games all the time, just get to the end of the game, it's like, okay, I beat it, let's, let's move on to something else. But that's the thing that quite clearly did not happen with Splunky. I am uh, always excited to start another run and see what happens in it. And uh, it is very, very rare for that to happen to me with a video game. Like, even if, if I get obsessed with a game, such as my growing up obsessions that I had, uh, it's like... You know, people have events in their life, and people that had a, an actual interest in life, they will have dramatic events happen in their life, and that's what they ha they remember. Like, oh, oh yeah, 13, that's when my parents divorced. Oh, 14, that's when we lost the house. You know, I my events were the video games that I got obsessed over, or even, you know, the TV series that I got obsessed over. That is just how easy of a life I've had. I've never had any pretensions that my life was hard whatsoever. Even when there was whatever drama was going on, my parents did argue now and then. They're still together, so they didn't argue that badly, huh? But, you know, when that kind of stuff was going on, I was like, I know I am a privileged motherfucker to be in this house, in this family, and have the things that I have. That's something that I've somewhat... I, I wouldn't say prided myself over, I just skipped that uh, that chest, that was kind of dumb. Um, saying that I pride myself over it is kind of an overstatement, or maybe saying that it, it puts emphasis on the wrong word. We're going to set off a chain reaction here, this man is going to to very carefully watch, uh, walk forward and then just get arrowed in the face. And that is how I will not suffer that, that, uh, that outcome. I guess we're going to use a rope here. I could use one of the monsters to, to stomp up there. Well, whatever, we're going to do it like that. I really don't want to spend the bomb to get rid of this thing. So we're going to go under and hope. If I am a fan of that. Uh, I was trying to get it to do other other things, and I got sidetracked by actual gameplay. Who the hell cares about the gameplay? Uh, yeah, the, the events that I remember growing up, it's all... Oh, what kind of games did I get obsessed over? What kind of uh, TV shows did I get obsessed with? Ooh, spring shoes. I uh, just remember that like, the first show I was ever obsessed about was The Jungle Book, believe it or not. I was this... Uh, maybe seven-year-old kid. Oh, wow, really? That damaged me. I did not realize I would do that. I mean, this is... I'm dead. Whoops. <laughs> I've lost it all. I've lost it all. I already lost it all. This is the worst. Wow. I was way too uh, into discussing... Discussing all sorts of dumb things. But I'm just going to go into adventure mode and... And just continue down this horrible path of stupidity that I have embarked on. I usually... Like, sometimes I will start a run that will be so pathetic and shameful that I'll be like fuck it I'm not even I'm not even going to keep this shit <laughs> but let's just go on it's fine it was just a daily challenge and I think that is like a side effect of making this into the first the first uh, video that I ever do every single day like every time that I start recording it will be the first thing I'll do in the day will be the daily challenge. That's always the first thing. And maybe it's a bad idea because I'm not at my greatest, possibly. But, you know, there is other days where I go really, really far. So, I don't know what kind of excuse I can make up for that absolutely atrocious spider death. Other than I thought I would stomp it. Instead, I, you know, I landed next to it. And then a spider that was twice my size ate my face. Not much I could have done about it, other than not put myself in that situation to begin with. Uh, also, that spider nipped my butt uh, when I did not expect it. So what am I trying to accomplish here? Just go through the adventure mode. Maybe trying to pull off some cool moves. And perhaps not get killed by a bat and spike combination. That would be absolutely terrible. We're going to get revenge on this spider, even if it kills me. I mean, clearly, that is exactly the two outcomes that can happen here. I either get revenge on this spider, 
or I get killed. <laughs> Those are the two things that can happen. Thankfully, I did not get killed, so I feel pretty good about it. You are still a boomerang. That is a bad idea for business, because now you're going to get murdered and tortured to death. Anyway, to finish that whole thought that we started with, let's put a bomb here. Um, the Jungle Book. <laughs> I'm still with that. Uh, I wanted to be Mowgli, when the, the, the Jungle Kid, when I was, I think, six or seven, I was just so obsessed with it. Don't ask me why. I have no idea. I mean, I'm sure if I watched that cartoon today, I would like, what the fuck was the deal with this? I don't know. But I, I just loved it. I loved the shit out of it. And there's no, there's no other reason for my obsession other than it was awesome. That's it. All right. We're going to put it down here. That should do the trick. Don't get too close, though, because then you die. After that, it was Ranma. This anime, or this, this guy that went... Oh, wow, I just, I just got bit into my face. Every time that I talk about things in my, in my life, instead of focusing on the gameplay, I die. Maybe there's a pattern here somehow. Well, I'm not going to be giving a shit one way or another. I'm just going to be continuing on and pretending like nothing bad is happening. Nothing bad is happening here. I am doing okay. Nothing incompetent is going on on screen right now <clears throat> this guy that if he gets sprayed with cold water he will turn into a woman if he gets sprayed with with uh, or poured hot water on him he'll turn back to a man it's this weird curse it was an anime it was this uh i don't know japanese korean chinese i don't know but usually it's, it's japanese but i don't know their origin so i'm not going to assume that it's japanese that's kind of racist isn't it that's just being racist i, I would rather not be racist so uh, let's just say that it was uh, some kind of Asian. <laughs> but even saying that, even though it's completely accurate, uh, it feels racist to say. I don't know. It was from Asia. It was it was from that continent of origin. There is there's nothing racist to uh, that, right? I don't know. I don't know. It just feels racist to say Asian for some reason. I don't know. In any way, that was the next, and that's basically the reason why I had long hair for the longest time. After that, I believe there was one in the middle, but I'm pretty sure it was Gargoyles, the Disney show? <laughs> oh man, uh, that's TV shows and then video games, Final Fantasy VII, Final Fantasy VIII, those are like the classics when you're a teenager. thing with Final Fantasy though, I, I think about it back now and I feel like if I play that now, I will definitely not get nearly as obsessed as I was way back. I mean, I wrote freaking fan fiction for that. In fact, it was the first big writing project that I ever embarked on to write fan fiction for Final Fantasy VIII. Uh, you know, it was a complete shit. It was complete garbage, like most teenage fan fiction is. Uh, I have not triggered that. Okay, I did trigger that somehow. I don't know when I triggered that, but I did it. And I am proud of the fact that I did it. Um, yes. What? Yeah, there was then... Wow, that was terrible. <laughs> there was the Baldur's Gates. One and two. I don't know the chronology here. I It's been too long and I would have to think a little too hard about it. How about I stop thinking too hard about these things because I'm being really atrocious here. Like, I am clearly not focusing on what's happening on the screen and it really definitely shows. I was like, what do you come here for? My freaking life stories? Or the goddamn Splunky gameplay and commentary on the gameplay. I don't know what you come here for. I, I, I'm not you. I'm not inside your head. But if I were to guess, I would say you don't give two craps about about the kind of TV shows that I watched when I was a kid. And you kind of want to see some some sweet ass uh, gameplay where I don't kill myself every single every other level. And maybe that is a pretty safe assumption to make that you are here for me to do okay at this game instead of, you know, just dying horribly to a uh, shopkeeper that wants to kill me. I just now went out of my way to humiliate him. Just, I felt like I need a little bit of redemption here. I am being quite bad and I would like to stop being bad. So I think I might focus on humiliating the shopkeepers now. It would be great for me to actually be able to do that and not the other way around, which is the shopkeepers just putting me down in my place every single move that I make. I don't know why. I mean, I don't know if that's the wise move, though. This is the move that I'm making to make this happen. 
We need uh, Ujarai. We need good stuff happening. And then we will win. Damn it. Uh, uh, okay, okay. Things are, things are good. Things are good. Oh, yeah. But anyway, I do have relatable stories, you see. And I think that is perhaps... This, uh, this is getting a little too... Not meta, but too self-aware, perhaps. There you go. <laughs> Funny. Perhaps it's a little bit part of the appeal to tell you personal stories that you might relate to because like I was commenting on the whole the whole social anxiety issue if you're here watching gameplay and commentary on it chances are you are a bit of a shut in I mean you don't have to be you might be a social star out there and then uh, you just love video games as well and, and like to watch these type of videos but uh, most of us are going to be, you know, on the indoors type of thing, which means that we have played our share of video games probably throughout our lives. And chances are, you've gotten obsessed with your own uh, TV shows and, and video games, and they might have shaped your life entirely. Like, I wouldn't say they... Yeah, actually, Baldur's Gate 2 totally changed my life, literally changed my life because it's the way I, I met my wife. And it's basically the reason I'm living in the United States. If I had not played Baldur's Gate 2, I'm written a mod for it. Uh, by the way, this is totally a tangent now. A tangent on a tangent. But who the hell cares about that? I'm just rambling at this point. Oh, there's a shopkeeper here. We're into. Uh, I finally finished. Like, let me tell you this story of the Emo and Romance mod. And this is something that is not a secret. But it's not a well-known fact where the, the actual small sphere of the mod itself is concerned. Let's get our, our faces into that crate. But I wrote a mod called the Emo and Romance mod for Baldur's Gate 2. This was 15 years ago now, however long ago the game was out, I don't know. Uh, it was shortly after release I, I wrote that mod, maybe two, three years after release, I don't know. Uh, it was a complete, it, it was, the writing was terrible because I was still living in Spain. I was learning to write in English at that point. This is a long time ago, it was 13 years ago at least. So, you know, I, I uh, had no pretenses that my writing was good, but you know, like now, I can tell you without a shadow of a doubt, and I'm not even, I don't even feel I'm being full of myself or anything. My writing's good. I am a good writer right now. I'm not telling you I'm the best, I'm not telling you I'm amazing. But damn it, I am a pretty damn good writer right now. And I'm going to be competent at it. However, whatever the task may be, I'm going to be pretty damn writer at it. Uh, but what I'm trying to say is that I had no such misconception. I was writing that uh, mod and you know now you look at it at the original version and it's like wow this is absolute garbage can't believe there was people out there that liked it um, I'm trying to get out here <laughs> so I did that uh, and you know uh, there was people interested there was a bunch of testers that wanted one of them was my wife and with that the way we started talking and you know things went the way they went and work on the expansion kind of stalled this is not gonna work this is dumb. let's just go back and flee from this ghost yeah there you go just get the hell away from this ghost this is getting pretty terrible and once again I'm starting to talk about my well this is, this is a bad situation I'm putting myself into um, once again I'm starting to talk about my life and now Ray lost all the way down to one heart so this is again probably going to end in disaster because I keep talking about myself I guess I'm just too damn narcissistic uh, but anyway, Baldur's Gate, if you're not if you're not aware of, there is Baldur's Gate's Shadows of Am, which is the main game. And then it had an expansion called The Throne of Ball. And is that, that's not even the way you pronounce it, it's Ba. Um, this guy is so stubborn, I really don't enjoy his presence here. And somehow he's gotten stumped, and we're going to just go through, go through without a shotgun because I lost it at some point. I put it down to start throwing bombs, that's what happened. Um, I don't mean farts. Let's uh, light that up. Um, Baldur's Gate has an expansion. It's called Front of Ball. And 
bow, ball, bow, whatever. <clears throat> and uh, I uh, never wrote the part of the mod that was concerning that expansion. It was all for the original version, and I worked on the content for the... Oh, wow, that's terrible. <laughs> that Yangshi, I think that's the first time ever a Yangshi kills me. Wow, we have uh, Splunky first. <laughs> <laughs> I have been killed by a Yangshi today because I was just too damn distracted. It was pretty damn stupid. It's not that great, though. In any case... Short, uh, long, long, long story short, I never finished that until earlier this year. In fact, it was the 31st of December that... I finally finished... Wow. <laughs> Let's just do this. <laughs> finally finished writing the entire the mod. I rewrote the whole thing. And uh, at least I rewrote most of it. Because there was some... I mean, the story of the thing is just so freaking convoluted. Uh, so it's not all of my writing that's in there. But most of it is. And it's good enough for me to be proud of it. So... Uh, if you're interested, go and search for Emoan Romance, a mod for Baldur's Gate 2. And there will be uh, basically my most recent public writing out there, outside of freaking Life is Strange fan, fan fiction, which I, it has become a guilty pleasure lately until I get word back from the guy that's editing my current book right now. Uh, until that, that happens, I, I started writing freaking Life is Strange fan fiction. Don't judge me. It's a guilty pleasure, I know it is silly and dumb, but I'm doing it, damn it, and I'm enjoying the shit out of it, I'm just loving the shit out of it, so fuck it, just do it, it's fun, and it's, it is writing, right, in any, uh, at the very least, any kind of creative endeavor is going to be, is going to be conducive to progress, as small as it might be, you are, you are still honing your craft, damn it, I'm going to choose and believe that, do that to kill a spider, um, but yeah, uh, this was the whole Baldur's Gate mod thing. It was actually a... It was like a monkey on my back for the longest time. Well, hello there. No, no, no! What's the time? <laughs> that is the kind of mindset that I'm in. I would rather get the camera than the jetpack. I just wanted to flee. I just wanted to flee with that jetpack. Instead, I grabbed the camera and took a picture of him as he murdered me. That is absolutely atrocious. Once I get done with this whole story, I'm going to stop talking about that, about any kind of retarded personal thing, because it's quite clearly, uh, quite clearly just ruining everything in Spelunky. I'm just being absolutely terrible at it. Uh, but it was a monkey on my back for 13 years that I never finished that. That I never got to finish that. I left it forever, and it was always in the back of my, of my head, like, man, I never finished that. I should have finished that. Uh... Don't grab the cape, there you go. Stomp for a good measure, there you go, ha! Feel good about it. <clears throat> so, last year, I, around September, I was like, fuck it, I'm going to finish it. So I went and did it. Took me like two, three months to write the whole thing. And it's pretty damn good. I, uh, I mean, I'm not going to be apologetic about it or, or, or falsely modest about it. I will tell you. It's probably the best written mod there is out there because, you know, unlike most other out there, I actually... I actually make it a point to want to be a writer uh, professionally. So, damn it, if the mod that I write is not going to be well written, what kind of hope do I have? Uh, so, yeah, I, I believe it's pretty damn awesome. So, if you want to check it out, you go ahead and do it. I am pretty sure that a lot of people here are not that great of... Uh, role-playing games fans, so I know the appeal is very limited, that is why I haven't even made it a, a, a point to, you know, make a big release announcement or whatever. Oh man, you know what would be awesome to stop with this guy? Maybe this guy... Oh, that's not, that is not the way I wanted it to go, but uh, he did get stomped by my feet, so... Anyway, everything that I'm talking about is going away now. We're going to concentrate on what's happening on screen and not give a shit about any of my foolish, foolish endeavors outside of it. I love to get that key. Uh, That's why I came back, to get that key. That spider's gonna jump on me. There you go. 
Uh, I really don't want to use the bomb here, but I kinda gotta. Kinda gotta. Also was very, very nervous about the spider plus. Man, I only have one bomb. This is bullshit. The spider plus the, the, the bomb. It was a bad, bad, bad combination. Coming up. We love to get bombs. I don't even want to get access to Donovan because, you know, I will be completely bereft of explosives and that could be a complete disaster. Absolutely terrible. Hey, but there might be bombs there. Oh, there's a jetpack. It's a horrible place to get into, though. Oh, we're going to try it. We're going to actually do this. Hello. Hi. Uh, no, you're not the person I want to grab. Oh. I would have stomped just fun on that guy if I had not had the cape. I pressed the space bar a little too much and the cape kind of screwed me over. All right, let's, uh, let's stop being dumb. I believe this is the way I need to start conducting myself now. Just not being dumb anymore. And just be absolutely awesome in everything I try to accomplish now. This is totally going to happen. I am focusing 100% on the video game in front of my face now. So all the screwing around, all the retarded, self-indulgent, personal shit that I keep telling you, that's not gonna happen anymore. It's all about that. Shopkeeper killing. I guess I could not kill the shopkeepers and make my life a little bit easier, but what's the fun in that? There's no fun in that. There is absolutely zero fun involved in that. So I... We'll continue murdering these people. Oh, wow. Okay. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> the, that whole time, I was like, the arrow trap. I must do something about it. So all that time that was awkwardly silent, it was just me being like, the arrow trap must not get me. It's all that was going through my head. Uh, do you guys see the, the chest? I did not see the chest. I am very upset for not seeing this chest in Maddock. Not terribly interested. Uh, where might be? Where might be? Anyway, to wrap up on... Wow, that's a fantastic combination of arrow traps and a weird uh, cluster of crates. I don't think I've ever seen this, actually. Three crates in the same area, like this. I've seen them... I've seen them across from one another. I have seen that. About three crates all stacked like that. Very, very rare. Another thing that's very rare is to see those arrow traps stacked three tall like that. Very, very weird. Some weird things happening in this seat. I mean, it's not like, oh, holy shit, how did that happen? It's just, you know, strange, curious things that I'm noticing. It's not like it's super, super strange or anything. Just cool. To point out and move on. Wherever did my shotgun go? There we go. But anyway, to wrap up on that whole thing, I, the reason why I feel it's somewhat okay to indulge in all these personal or, or uh, uh, self-concerned issues is because we are a lot of us birds of a feather. So if you know, if you feel like you can relate to these things that I'm saying, feel free to let me know about it and make me feel real good. And if you feel like I am a freaking moron, I should should shut my freaking mouth about all this freaking stupid shit. Then just uh, you go home and kill yourself. I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care about your negativity. There's something that, of course, constructive criticism. Bring it on. I'm okay with it. But like super nice constructive criticism. Uh, but like complete negativity. It's like, yeah, I don't even, I don't care. Uh, I don't want to improve. Uh, whatever objective you have, <coughs> whoa, what, whatever objective you think you have with telling me something flat out super negative and, and upsetting, uh, you shove it up your ass. I really don't want to hear about it. <laughs> it's like, you know, all it's going to do is just crap in my cereal. In the words of the great Patrick Rothfuss, uh, if you put a real negative comment among all the positive feedback, it's like, you took a shit in my cereal, I can't eat around it. It's just going to ruin my cereal. So, 
I'm not saying that I don't want to have any negativity in my life or any criticism about the things that I really care about. What I'm saying is that, you know, I'm doing this, there's a million other, I mean, I could be saying it literally that there's at least 10,000 other people doing this out there on YouTube. If you don't enjoy the style in which I do things and it makes you upset, just go away. Just go away. I don't want to hear about your being upset. If you're like, oh man, I love this guy, but I wish he did this other thing. That's fine. That's totally cool. I'm, I'm totally cool with that. But if you're like, well, you suck. Uh, uh, please suck a dick. It's like, yeah, go fuck yourself. I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to hear about how I got you upset and whatever. If I crack an irreverent joke and it gets you offended, well, tough shit. It's like, <laughs> just go away. I don't give a shit. I don't give a crap about you got offended. You getting offended doesn't give me a right to stop anything from happening. Just go away and just go kill yourself. It's all, uh, all I ever ask of people that get offended with things. Just go and kill yourself. It's, it's okay. It's a lot easier for everybody involved if you go and just commit suicide. Anyway, I don't even know where this came from. <laughs> it's like, why did I even start talking about this stuff? I don't know, man. Do I have the Ujidai? I, I do. I believe we're set. Let's get to the exit. This shotgun. I, I realize that saying all these things probably is inviting all this negativity. So maybe I shouldn't have even even said a damn thing because uh, whatever I'll, I'll just ignore it. It's you know uh, it, it's I really hope I never get total biscuit famous, and I doubt that will actually happen because you know the, this channel while it grows it is very slow growth. I've seen some other uh, YouTubers out there that have grown way way faster than me, and you know more power to them. There's no jealousy. There's no like oh man these talentless hacks. Uh, I am so much better than them, and look at how badly I am doing. Nah, there's nothing like that. It's like, because, you know, I'm not trying to make this for a living. I, if I were trying to to be a YouTube, a professional YouTuber that gets paid to do this, and, you know, uh, kind of my income depends on it, I'd be like, oh man, fretting over, how can I make the channel grow? How can I uh, make more views happen? Oh man, I need more, oh, community engagement. <clears throat> but since this is, I would say it's more than a hobby. It's definitely advancing a, a core part of myself but I don't treat it as something that needs to be super successful I treat it as something that I wanted to succeed I wanted to do well but I am fine with it just growing slowly people people coming in and, and sharing their thoughts having a great time uh, it, it's more of a, a, a like that than it's like oh man Oh, I got only two new subscribers today. Oh, I need to do better. <laughs> you know, it's not like that. Uh, so there's there's no acrimony. Acrimony. There's no there's no bad feelings of 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 jealousy and and feeling slighted because people don't like me. It's like that's my my general thoughts on it. Um, I don't even, again, I don't know where I was uh, going to, going towards or coming from with this whole line of thought. I uh, have been <laughs> being erratic today, honestly. Being very, very erratic with all the things that I'm saying. And poor Matilda just got bone here. I, I feel sorry for her. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. I, hopefully I won't forget to edit that out, but I probably will. It's just tough. Who cares, right? Um... Not like I farted into the microphone or something. Probably would not edit that, edit that either. Because if it was a fart loud enough for you to hear it, damn it, I'm going to be proud of that one. Um, don't even remember where I was going with all that stuff, so I'll just leave it. I'll, I'll just leave it out there floating and make a, out of it what you will. I think I was talking about the whole negativity aspect of comments and all that. Oh yeah, the whole. Yeah, of course, it's in my head because of uh, Total Biscuits' reason to withdrawal from the whole social aspect. Of not just disabling disabling YouTube comments and a lot he did that way way back but you know basically disconnecting all together and it's like why were you why even connect in the first place man I, I I loathe the whole Twitter and Facebook culture it's like it's so gross to me I have zero interest in ever becoming part of that whole that whole sphere of social 
I don't want to call it fakeness, it's social work. It just feels like work. Like something that just tethers you, that you start depending on and you start obsessing over. And oh, what do they say about me here? What do they say about me over here? It's like, ah, I don't need that. Nobody needs that in their life. It's like, is it really a positive thing? I would say there's more negative shit involved in all that stuff than, than all the positive influence that might be. I mean, when you have no negative interactions whatsoever in Twitter, Facebook, and all that stuff, still something negative in your life. I, that's the way, I mean, I don't have any empirical evidence because I have not been involved in it in any way. These guys are dead. Uh, but just from hearsay, of all the cases out there, all the complaints of people, seeing people just obsessively check their, their Facebook updates and all oh, Twitter on with their stuff, it's like... I don't know, man, this, it just feels like a, both like a chore and like it's something unhealthy. Like, you're, you're, I mean, because, you know, th this totally happening to a degree with the YouTube comments. I, I like checking the feed and see, hey, who commented? Who, uh, who, who's saying what? Oh, man, this is pretty funny. Oh, oh, man, I was, <laughs> this should not have happened. I was not counting on the, on the pressure happening there. Um... And I wouldn't say I'm obsessed about it, but I, I, I do like checking it, maybe a couple times a day. Uh, like I wake up and I want to check it, I want to see I want to see who's saying what in, on the videos and all that good stuff. So I can totally see myself, like, obsessively getting into that mindset with a Facebook or Twitter thing. Who, who, who replied to me? Oh, who's saying what now? And we gotta check uh, the, the update now. It's like... It's just kind of disturbing, because it's our human nature to... Okay, what's happening here? Oh, this guy. This guy has been alerted to our presence, I guess, because of the corpse. The corpse uh, flew into his face, I suppose. That's not gonna work, is it? No. Uh, he can totally kill me from here. Just uh, stop talking about social commentary for a moment. And maybe shoot this man in the face. Just pause our retarded preaching and, you know, I, I say this most of the time that I talk about this kind of issue. Did I ever go to the black market? I have the ankh. Okay, see, so, yeah, okay, good. So, we're good, we're fine. Take everything I say with a grain of salt, of salt, like giant disclaimer up the front, I should put it. Everything I say is 100% opinions unless I, I specifically say this is fact. Like, most of the time I will do that. I will say this is totally true and it's a, it's a fact of life. When I'm talking about certain things, I don't know right off the top of my head why what I would say of that about maybe just scientific facts or some or some of some nature, but uh, everything, all these things that I'm talking about are just opinions, and not just opinions because basically most of the things anybody says ever is an opinion. Uh, <coughs> oh man, sorry about that. Uh, they're not just opinions, they are well-intentioned opinions, I think that's the way to put it. There's no real judgment associated with it. What I guess what I'm trying to say is that if you're in that Twitter sphere, in that bloggoverse, in that facebook universe, uh, whatever, <laughs> and you love it and you're enjoying it and you feel like you're being attacked right now because I am saying all these negative things about it, I, I, I don't mean to make you feel that way. I, If you feel it's a positive influence in your life, uh, just just keep doing it. I, I'm not going to try and stop you. I'm not even, I'm not trying to be judgmental, I guess is what I'm trying to say, even though I can very much see how it comes across that way. The intent is definitely positive. Uh, the, the intent, here's the intent. To m perhaps make you evaluate it if, y if it's a thing that isn't happening in your life. Make you think about it and uh, this decide once again, is this something positive, is this something negative? And I'm not trying to sway your opinion in any serious way. I'm just saying, if you think about it, if it's still something positive that you feel is cool, then that's fine. But it, is, it pays to think about these things and not just do them. And that is something that is... I know it's a truism, but it's also something that is very, very easy to 
forget about when we go for our everyday lives and we just go forward and we do things out of routine we do things out of habit or because we feel we must and we never think twice about why we're doing something or whether it's actually beneficial to the long-term advancement of our lives not like it matters because we're all going to die in meaningless ways anyway at the end and nothing we ever do will matter but <laughs> just just keep it in like you know you you will die alone and nothing you do will matter but until then we want to feel happy and realized about ourselves in our in our beautiful illusion of of accomplishments and free will so it's important that's something that I while growing up while you know as a teenager I, I struggled a lot and there's something that I guess a lot of teenagers like teenage age is when you realize you're actually going to die someday <laughs> I do need to kill myself speaking of dying someday and uh, Perhaps it's the time when you first contemplate suicide. And I'm not saying I was suicidal, I'm saying... I'm saying, you know, killing myself is an option. Is that something I would want to do? <laughs> you know, you, you think about it. I would say that, if not all, most teenagers would say, would, would start thinking, hmm, suicide, is that something I want to do? Like, not having the intention to do it, just saying... Is this something I want to do? Let's, let's think about it. And... I don't know why I went to kill that guy. I need to kill myself. Oh, yes, yes, because I won the dancer through the exit, so I have a little bit of extra life. Um, and, you know, perhaps at that point you in your life you decide whether it's worth continuing or not. And it's not like an immediate decision. It's, and also you come back and reevaluate it on, uh, uh, later in your life, depending on the events that have transpired. Uh, like, if your life is complete shit, then, yeah, you probably want to reconsider that whole thing. If you want my personal advice, though, just go ahead and kill yourself. Just end it all. Uh, but, but you know, just, this is just an opinion. This is just an opinion. Don't, don't think that I'm trying to encourage you to kill yourself. I'm just saying that life is pointless anyway, so what's the point? Anyway, <clears throat> I'm being facetious here. Please don't go kill yourself on my account. I don't even know if I will be legally liable, but I will feel a little responsible about it. Uh, don't leave a comment saying, I'm going to go kill myself now, thanks. Uh, because that would make me feel a little bad if you actually go and do it, and then if I hear about it, of you actually go and killing yourself, I mean, if it's a joke, then I'm going to laugh. But then if, if it's in the news out there, and then I get blamed directly, that, you know, it, it would be upsetting. It would not just upsetting because I would be in a heap of trouble, but also at a personal level. I mean, I don't know you. I don't, I don't really care about you particularly. Wow, we got lucky with that shotgun. But if you went to kill yourself on my account, I will, I will feel bad. I will want to, like, at least mildly bad, right? In any case, I am really, really uh, working on tangents over tangents or uh, tangents here. Not like it matters. We're in the ice caves, just making our way through. Um, or at least we're not ghosting in the ice caves, that would be just the ultimate tangent inspiration there. Let's just go through. There's no gain sticking around. I'm trying to think back. Just where did all this narrative of suicide come from? I know it was something about, you know, teenagers considering death for the first time. I know where that, that part came. I mean, where the next part came what the previous thing was, but whatever. Let's just move on. Say... Don't do it, kids. Just don't do it. That's worth living for as long as you draw breath. Let's just leave it at that. On a positive note, right? Alright. There you go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There was a bunch of things that I, I totally left up in the air. I mean, the reason why I'm being so rambly today is I don't usually drink coffee in the morning. I'm not a coffee person at all. In fact, I don't like the taste at all. It needs a lot of sugar for me to even enjoy it and a lot of milk. But I had some coffee this morning 
and I think I'm feeling the effects. It's like, oh shit, these guys got I think I'm feeling the effects of of uh, my mind is not really racing, but unfocused. I don't think it was a good thing. It might have w woken me up a little bit more. I, I am a tiny bit quicker with the thoughts, but not so much with the gameplay and my reflexes. Definitely not happening. That part is definitely not happening. Where's the newest? By the way, we kind of need. Uh, there he is, just trapped in there like a moron. What an idiot! How do you even? How do you even spawn that? You're a coward, Anubis. You are a disgusting coward, and you will pay. You will pay for this cowardice. Please, I want to make my way in here. There. And now more bombs happening. Uh, yeah, that's not gonna work. Oh my goodness, he's just just entrenched in there. All right, he's finally coming out. Come out of the closet, Anubis. Nobody's gonna judge you. I know you are very, very abashed about your se sexual orientation, but there's really no shame in it. It's okay. Everybody likes to, likes to fuck goats now and then. I just want this guy to die. Please. Please. I, 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 I implore you, Mr. Shopkeeper. Just get yourself killed. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> it's weirding me out, honestly. The, the way he is... Uh, why am I not using this? I don't know, man. I don't know. Wow, it did not go the way I wanted it to go. What's up? What happens if I put one there? I think that's going... Ooh, I'm sorry, Jacqueline! Oh, man. Jacqueline was there. Didn't even realize she was there. I'm trying to kill the goddamn shopkeeper. With this beautiful, beautiful scepter. Let's go get him. Right, this should work for one. Whoop! Okay. Thank goodness. Holy shit. Disgusting shopkeepers. Oh boy. Very rambly today. Very rambly. I kind of feel like I should say I'm sorry. Like, this is uh, like. It's not even my norm to be so rambly like this. I, I normally. You know, I, I will wax philosophical and a number of things, but I'll make it a, a huge habit. It will just happen now and then. That was kind of dumb. <laughs> the dumbest damage I ever took. Um, but I feel like definitely today I have indulged in it for way longer than I should. Uh, I guess we're descending over there and we'll be done. I really don't care for having a shotgun or whatever. Just coming back to wherever that scepter was. One of these places. There it is. Okay. Yeah. We're going to hell, damn it. It's totally gonna to happen. Probably would not happen the daily challenge if I survived, so it's fine. It's a good thing that I died. Let's let's spin it that way. Trigger everything. I have a billion ropes, it's very weird how so many ropes have spawned in this uh, seed. So no problem, I have no problem. Throwing ropes all over the place. Kinda of feeling bad about the dirt of bombs. I think I have the spike shoes, so this should be fine. Uh, so we grabbed the bombs. That's good. And now we're going to get in there. Get that book of the dead and stick two bombs to our friend Anubis too. Triggered. There you go. Might as well uh, make my way down. Here. Enjoy, friend! I hope that you appreciate what just happened to your anus! Got ripped! Might as well do this. There's a shopkeeper. Straight ahead. Uh, this should work, and if it doesn't, it'll make it easier so it happens later. Or not. That could also happen. Hopefully, he will not come and just murder me. Just throw another bomb there. One of these should totally stick to his face. Come on. Man, he's getting lucky. Now. What? What's even happening? I don't have bombs left. Oh my goodness. 
and it will be awesome to crush these guys. So let's try it. No, it didn't happen. Uh, this guy's a real problem. <laughs> you have to realize that this guy's a real problem. Uh, only have one bomb left. I was really hard, uh, really fast and loose with these bombs. And now I'm kind of boned. I very much wish that I had not thrown so many bombs into the void like that. What I'm going to do is use uh, arrows. I'm not even guaranteed to hit them. I mean, I, I, I'm going to try this. I'm going. This usually works. So I'm going to try it. There you go. Like, that is uh, something that is very, very reliable with shopkeepers. And, of course, it's something that is also incredibly nerve-wracking when you don't know the patterns. I'm not claiming that I know the patterns. That I, I, I can predict them sometimes, but it's very, very uh, complicated some, some other times to predict exactly what they're going to do. But if you are both running towards each other and you know he's running towards you, you can totally pull that off quite reliably. Just uh, run forward and just stomp him when you are close and he shoots. Just jump over that shot and stomp his ass, his bald pate. It is very, very reliable, I would say, that you can do that. Anyway, I'm very much hoping for more bombs and we appear to be getting them. That is very, very propitious because uh, I really needed them to be able to get through all like the easy way. Uh, there's a the shotgun. Let's go down. Oh, there's another one here. Realize it. Ah, anyway, the Necronomicon is jumping right here at this cross area. With the, with the cross, it's pointing right at the spot. So let's get this giant stupid head out of here. Bombs here, right? Yeah, there you go. Seam, just work our way down. And we started one level down, so that means that we won't even have to destroy the lips of this chasm. What am I talking about there? What am I talking about there? If you start from a completely unmodified uh, floor, like this is like the default level where Omega's at, when you start making the tunnel, you will get two blocks at the end of it. You will get this block right here and this block right here that Omega needs to stomp through to be able to make it all the way down. And that means that he might spawn enemies when that happens. And that means that he might completely screw you over if you get bad, bad RNG. But if you start the tunnel from one level down, like... I did not move. Oops. <laughs> oh, man. I was trying to explain the Olmec fight while I died at it. Might as well finish that explanation. If you start the tunnel right here instead of right here, he will not have to stomp through those last two blocks. It is much safer because he will not spawn enemies and he just goes all the way down pretty damn harmless unless there's a fireman jumping on top of the old mech head preventing you from going to hell anyway i completely forgot the fact that you had to get the fuck out of the way for all mech not to stomp you so this is the way this ended oops <laughs> hopefully you enjoyed my ridiculous deaths all the terrible incompetence followed by by an actual good run just thrown away like so much garbage at the end and just let me know, let me know. I, I do like hearing your opinions and especially something I really enjoy is 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 if you actually feel like you, you are relating to the things I'm saying. It's like, oh, and that's cool. That That's awesome. <laughs> Thumbs up. Anyway, I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, I hope you don't get diarrhea. <laughs>